Hey everyone, it's Mice here and welcome to another AFK Journey video and today let's take a look at the Alpha Bear, the newest monster, the world boss as we call it. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm ranked the top 100 on server 1 which is uh, pretty good, dealing about 12 million damage. Of course, all of this is possible due to Pride Wind's Sky. Now let's take a look at what they have suggested with the team builds and the team um, compositions with regards to uh, the boss's mechanic. Right off the bat, you need to understand that you have to use a single target as a tank that has one range this is because of skill 2 skill 2 throws honey at enemies and uh, if there are no enemies in adjacent tiles then it deals 400% damage to all enemies so if you don't have a main tank that is one tile away this is going to do a tremendous amount of damage to your entire team you can see that uh, thorin is of course my main tank that's going to walk up to the one tile next to the uh, the bear and uh, funny enough you see at the front line is smoky now in this boss fight smoky is absolutely one of the best characters for every single team used here because you'll be able to um, heal your team and provide them with buffs and also damage the enemy it's so strong if you're able to unlock smoky at the uh, ex which is mythic plus level now some of the other free to play units are really good as well coco here and can reduce the damage uh, coming out from the enemy so you're able to survive longer do more damage but for the damage dealer you're again using your bread and butter smoky oldie merrily and the uh, core of course Corin needs to be a mythic plus as well and also vela vela with her mechanic when the boss falls below 50 percent hp and she will stay in the sword mode is so strong so um yes she is a uh, choice that is also viable in this now speaking of debuffers Rhineer. Rhineer, again, similar to Korin and some of the other units, the Mythic Plus will offer this humongous damage taken bonus debuff. But other than that, personally for me, I even I don't have uh, Mythic Plus Rhineer just yet. I'm working towards that. You can see mine is uh, just, uh, I think, two copies off. I'll be using, uh, or at least in the top 100 comp, I use Kruger. Now, in this, in this video showcase, what I'm going to do is probably be a bit different and run a similar comp to what I have. I can't use Korin because uh, Korin's not Mythic Plus. I'm not going to use Kruger instead because um, I've got Supreme plus Thorin to tank. What I will try is right here. I'm going to use uh, Coco. We'll, we'll give Coco a shot. My Coco is so weak. Look, I don't even have this uh, skill unlocked, the uh, support. But let's see if Coco is able to help the rest of the team uh, survive a bit longer and uh, allow me to surpass my current damage coming out. But uh, please note. For the first team comp, instead of Coco, I did use uh, Kruger, uh, who was uh, just at uh, Mythic, and that was 12 million, top 100. Let's see if using uh, Coco here for the free-to-play choice will be able to make a difference. So let's take a look. So starting the fight, you can see my uh, Thorin coming up, and because of the honey um, that is being thrown on him, the rest of my team is not taking that 400% of bonus damage, and wow, the rest of my team are super healthy just thanks to Smokey keeping everyone topped up. Uh, but uh, here comes uh, the boss. I believe he's going to do a big, big AoE coming up. Yeah, so this is one of the small AoEs. You can see Coco is barely tanking. Ooh, that was a very, very clutch heal coming out from Smokey's aura. Ah, but now Coco is down. I I'm not sure if this means that uh, this team is able to surpass my previous team. Oh, OD and Smokey both going down. But my Merrily is alive and still linked to um, Thorin. But yes, Thorin does go down. However, I was able to do additional wow. damage uh, in comparison to my last 12 million. So I'm now at rank 77. So this is almost 13.5 million this time by swapping a very, very low copy Coco instead of the uh, mythic only Kruger so you can see this team composition and what they've written here definitely definitely is uh, very very helpful in terms of uh, pushing your damage and uh, this is absolutely very very informative so in terms of your team build up again if we take a look at um, uh, the setup here um, if you have you know a more invested Coco definitely definitely use her because for me even though um the free to play guide does say focus on coco as one of the early units if you, especially if you've done the wishing list manipulation to try to pull for a list unit um coco is going to shine but for me as you can see a lot of my supreme plus units are for map pushes and for um, pvp as well so my carolina my um iron mythic plus but 
Yes, still use your oldie merrily linked up to if you don't have a Thorin linked up to, um, sorry, if you don't have Thorin linked up to uh, merrily or oldie, use Kruger. Uh, other than that, um, I think, I think lots of those options, Rhaenyra and Corrin is just unfortunately behind the Mythic Plus option for these uh, survivability, extra survivabilities and debuffs coming out. Now I'm going to do one more testing and uh, instead of using Coco, because this is basically my flex spot, right? Instead of using Coco, I'm going to use Rhaenyra, my Mythic Rhaenyra instead of Mythic Plus Rhaenyra. So this is going to be able to, again, trigger out bonuses. I did have the Molnar bonus active regardless, but this hopefully and if we place it um i don't think the swap is gonna matter to be honest so we'll just do this and uh let's how i uh, see how uh, the unit will perform oh don't want to swap too much uh with rhinier again i'm really working towards rhinier getting that uh, mythic plus status so we can get that bonus i think 26 percent damage taken which is just absolutely huge right and rhinier is used in pretty much every single dream realm composition and probably the reason why i went for rhinier instead of a scarletta which is a very again very very strong unit but um and not as widely applied Lickable as Rhinier and for free to play or even small spenders, you really don't have much choice in comparison to the stargazing uh, uh, whales that can just pull on these uh, light and darkness unit non stop. Oh, Rhinier is falling a bit low. Let's see. Oh, the heal. Oh, it's not able to uh, top everyone off, but we do have again Thor and the Merrily up this time. See if we can keep the rest of the team up and we get one more ult off, but unfortunately, yeah, this did not work out as well actually as the low level copy coco so you can see that here if you're able then definitely definitely do use coco for the team fight but um yeah let's take a look at uh, some of the top placements um rewards so if we clear early you get loads and loads of rewards and then in terms of ranking it's the same you get your bear hunter tag uh, the frame is available for every top 200 players and you have your essences as well for the exclusive equipment so best of luck hopefully you are able to do better um, with your team and uh, if you have some units invested that do really really well the free-to-play units then of course you're gonna be able to run the better team comps but uh, let me know your thoughts and how your alpha bear hunt goes and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye now